Hi, this page I'm setting up is going to be called a Live Blood 101. Uh, this goes into a world where not many people are aware of um, when you have your blood taken, <coughs> excuse me, when you have your blood taken, your blood's taken out of your arm, it's then um, taken to the lab, it's spun out. But what you're not really seeing is how your blood is reacting live, i.e. how it will be in your body. Um, this is something I've discovered recently, um, and I've got quite a good background on blood. Um, reason being is I've had um, leukemia, acute, lymph, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, twice in my life, uh, 1994 to 96, and in 1998 to 2001. Um, it's in remission. I have had a new bone marrow transplant. Um, now, you know that's all well, well and good, but I do believe now looking at discovering the live blood um, and the things that have a detrimental effect on your blood I do believe a lot of it is down to purely through people what they eat and drink um, it has a huge effect on their health uh, and some people don't like to be told this some people don't like it you know a lot of people with human human nature people react differently and people will shut you know put, put up the gates whoosh, and don't want to know um, but I've been quite open I've been quite interested I look at things as an interest in a you know, thinking outside the box. Um, and I have got some science to, to back it up as well. And I'll be showing you examples of different things and the explanations. I'll try to make it as easy as I can for people to understand. Um, I don't want to make it too complicated. But I'm hoping this will, you know, just to help people out. So I'll be putting these videos on here. Um, I'll be putting in parts one, two, three, four, and so on. So people can understand what, what I'm talking about. So hopefully, uh, you know, if you think outside the box and be a bit open, um, then it'd be, you know, hopefully it'd be quite interesting. So thank you.